Greetings, salutations, YouTube. It's Hadrian here. How's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. Welcome to another edition of Goodwill Hunting, where we go to various Goodwills and see what treasures we can find. I'm really excited because we're at a Goodwill in LA that I think is one of the first Goodwills that I went to um, in a video with you guys. So I'm really, really excited. We've come full circle, so we're here. Um, hope you guys enjoy this video. So let's go inside. If you guys want to see more 15 videos, I have them all linked and all my social media and my shop as well. If you like their handbag selection, is a little eensy teensy from what I remember. Um, but I don't know, let's look further. Who knows what we can find? There's a relic bag. Don't know what that is. No brand. Okay, just wanted to take a moment to show you guys this really cool mirror. $30 is a little expensive, but I was just over there <laughs> with the luggages and I found a ton of bags. They have this bot K for just $7.99, which is really, really cute. And a um, Halston Heritage duffel. I actually found one of these. This one's a little um, more worn than the other one. The other one I had was in perfect condition. This one I think um, we can clean up and make look pretty good. Then I found two fossil bags. Um, really cute. I don't think this one has a price. $14.99. And then this one I think is the same price too. So, I don't know. They're a little pricey, but I'm definitely getting these too. Oh my gosh. Why am I dying for this Michael Jackson dog picture thing? It's so stinking cute. It's from Pets Rock. I don't see a price anywhere on it. Oh, there it is, $7.99. So cute. I'm kind of living for this trunk. It's $50 though. It's really expensive. But it's epic. It's very nice. Look how blue it is inside. Like this was made pretty well, I feel like. I don't know if it has a brand or anything. like. It just says Corbin, but it's pretty epic, and this chair is giving me like Ralph Lauren vibes, so nice. Hello, anything tufted, but it's really stained. Let's see what else they have here, there's so much stuff to look at, and I'm like, don't even know what to look at next. Oh, they have these like plastic forms to put like mannequin like the bikinis and stuff on display Lakers Looking at the tchotchkes Well dinnerware not really tchotchkes cookware bakeware Marshalls Mugs. A pretty good book selection here too. Check out all these old keyboards. I have to go through them and show them to John and see if there are any good ones that he likes. He's looking for vintage keyboards. And look at they have printers, computer monitors, everything. Hair dryers, typewriter, paper shredder, ooh, hole puncher. This is actually really nice. I also found this really nice like candlestick holder. $5.99 though, but it's like huge. Kinda like it. And I have a feeling it might be from Crate and Barrel. Look what I found in the book section. I literally have the same coloring book when I was a child. Except it didn't scribble in it like that. But it's so fabulous. I wanna find the one I had now. They have some fabulous books here. Okay, you guys, I just left the store and I got some really good stuff. I'm going to go to a different thrift store. It's Buffalo Exchange. Um, they have them around the U.S. They're kind of like, you can sell your clothes to them and then if they buy something, they give you um, money or store credits. So I don't have anything to sell to them today. I'm just going to go in and see what they have. The last time I was here, they had some pretty cool stuff. Um, the prices are a little bit more expensive than a regular thrift store, but you can find some pretty good stuff. And usually everything's in really, really good condition because they can pick through like what they're putting in the store because they're 
buying stuff from you guys. But without further ado, let's go into the store and see what we can find. All right, you guys, I got some pretty cool stuff, but I didn't film inside the store because um, I don't think you were allowed to, so I didn't film in there. But I'll show you guys what I got when we get to that. So let's go. Greetings, salutations, YouTube. It's Hedon here. How is everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. I feel like my eyelids are totally uneven today. Just thought I would share that with you. Don't you hate that? Like sometimes, like I'll wake up and have like one huge eyelid, and then like. I have no eyelid or like a tiny, it's weird. I don't know if any of you guys suffer from that same problem, but something that's plagued me for many years. Um, <laughs> but you guys, I'm really excited to um, show you guys today what I found recently um, on at a trip to the Goodwill. And if you guys would like to see the 50 video for this particular haul, hit the little eye right there. That window will pop out and you can select the video there along with playlists from my other 50 videos, haul videos, handbag rehabs, and decor. And if you would like to have it done so already, don't forget to add me on Instagram and Facebook. It's Hadrian, just like it's spelled here. And check out my shop at itshadrian.com. My website is finally going to be up by the time you see this video, and I'm very excited. Um, it's going to be, like, under construction for the most part, but the website is up, and I'm really excited just to have a domain name. And, I don't know, it's just been a long process for me to get this um, situated. Uh, I'm really happy to bring it to you. But without further ado, let's get into this haul. Um, I'm actually going to start off with the stuff from that I found at that particular um, store from that link right there. Uh, but it's also going to include some items from uh, Buffalo Exchange. I went to Buffalo Exchange. It was um, really close to that store. And if you have never heard of it, uh, Buffalo Exchange is kind of like a thrift store. Well, it is a thrift store, a secondhand store. Kind of like a consignment because you can actually bring your items to the store and they'll purchase items that they want from you. Um, so... Yeah, it's pretty cool. So everything in there is kind of like curated and cultivated for things that they that they're like on trend, that are in really good condition and fun and cool and stuff like that. So I really like that store. I don't usually go in because I the prices there are usually a lot more elevated than I would like. But I was there in the area and I found some pretty good stuff. So I'm really excited to show you guys what I got there as well. But let me start off with what I got um, at this store now. Only one of these items that I got is not a handbag, so I'm going to start off with this. It's um, a modern menswear book by Howell Davies. Uh, it's really cool. It has, like, cool, like, pictures of menswear and stuff like that, and I was really excited to find this. I was looking, I've been looking for more, like, fashion coffee table books and stuff like that, and I was excited to find two books um, during the day that I went, um, but... That other book is in my past video right before this one. So if you want to see that all video, it'll also be linked down below as well if you want to check that out. But this one was $2.99. The color of the day, though, was green. So this book was only $1.50. So I was really excited about that. And, you know, you love when things go on sale at the Goodwill. So really happy to found that book there. Now, let me start showing you guys the bags. Now, the first bag I have here, this one was $9.99. And it's a Halston Heritage, like, small duffel. Um, I want to say it's kind of like the Speedy 35, maybe is the size that's most comparable to. Um, I actually, believe it or not, found the same exact bag last year. I think around this time. No, around, like, Christmas time, I think. And I was really excited to have found it again. Um, this one is not as in perfect condition as the other one was. Uh, though, hopefully I can clean it off. It has a couple marks on it. Um, I'm hoping to be able to get that off, though. And, yeah. Other than that, like, it's in really good condition. So, hopefully I can clean it up. But $10, I'll take it. This is a really great bag. And, like, it's held up really well, considering it's, like, a vintage Halston. And the interior is, like really cool and clean too so I was excited about that and yeah so there's that then the next item that I have here is a really cool um Bacchier bag I'm trying to like fix it up so it doesn't look like a hot mess when I show it to you but it's this cool like it has what is this called like um the detail on it is really cool. It's like braided. It kind of reminds me of Balenciaga, like how they do the handles. But it's still totally different because it's like open. Like it's not like puckered. I don't know. 
but it's really cool. It has like two pockets on the side, and then it opens like it's a cross between I feel like a, um, a like the Balenciaga like the city, and then kind of like an Alexander Wang Rocco with like a, the way it opens on the top. So it opens like this, and this bag was seven dollars and ninety nine cents. So it opens like this, and the interior just like it's a super really cool bag. I was really excited for it, and. It even has a crossbody strap, it has cool tassels, like I feel like it's just like totally like motorcycle like chic and the leather is so soft and amazing and this bag is in like spectacular condition, I couldn't be more excited. So Bakier, amazing, so excited for that. And then I have, um, what do I have here? The next item I have here is actually a backpack and I thought it was just so super cool, this one was eight dollars um certain in there but this is a potty barn kids leopard print furry backpack it's so cool it's in really good condition actually and who doesn't want a leopard print furry backpack like it's such a cool bag it's so like different and like now and i really like it so there it is I don't know, should I sell it? I don't even know. But I probably will. I have enough backpacks. And I feel like the fur would just make me really hot because I'm someone that gets hot really easily. So this is like a good backpack. Oh, you know what? This would actually be like the perfect backpack to take with you when you're going on the airplane because you know how freezing it is on the plane. And then you can just be like, oh, and then keep it warm. You keep you warm. It's going to be perfect. So perfect travel backpack. Yay. Or if you're in a cold classroom at school. Yeah, there you go. Okay, awesome. I, was, I just got scared because I saw someone walking by and I was like, wait a minute, there's like someone walking across the street. Anyway, um, the next item I have here to show you is this cool coach bag. This was um, in the case along with something else I'm show you after that. But this is like, it's like the front is like in pretty good condition and then the back has a couple like denim stains that I'm hoping that I can get out. I'm not too sure. But I'm, like my philosophy is like if it's not on the front, it's fine. <laughs> because the black like the back of the bag, like you're never really gonna see it too much. And when you're carrying it and using it for the most part, the back is gonna be behind you. It's like even when you like hold it, set it down, like it's gonna be like you know what I mean? I don't know. But the inside was really clean and in really good condition and this bag was about $15 and I was like you know what I like the white and I like the gold and I like the shape and hopefully I can fix up the back otherwise I think it's still in really good condition and like I mean why like not use a bag because it has a couple like denim stains on the back I mean it's fine right so there's that bag I think it's a, a really cool tote and then the last bag that I have from this particular trip is this one. This is a large coach briefcase. I'm completely obsessed with it. I'm happy that it still has a little dongle because these vintage bags, a lot of the time you lose these and they don't come with a bag or people just like rip them off or take them. And this one I think is in really good condition. Oh my gosh, I was like, what is this? It's like a business card. Okay, I didn't even look back there when I bought the bag. It's like a business card and a pen. But this bag is in such great condition. Um, it has, like, space for your pens, cards, has a zipper pocket. And this one is made in... Yeah, this one is made in U.S. Just wanted to check to make sure. Like, I thought it was, but sometimes I forget. But this one is vintage, made in U.S., such great condition. The only thing wrong is that this corner, I don't know what happened to it, um, but I'm hoping to repair it as much as I can. I'm going to, like, glue it and then, like, fix the edge, like, fix the paint on it, and hopefully it won't be that noticeable. I mean, you, it's, like, on the corner, I think once, like, I can fix it up, it's not going to look bad at all. So, other than that, like, the bag is in really good condition. This vintage coach leather is like the stuff dreams are made of and the fact that it still has the crossbody as well like this is perfect and I love this silhouette it's very much like the Kelly from um, Hermes and 
you know how much I'm obsessed with Hermes. So this is like a good like Kelly alternative, vintage, beautiful, handcrafted bag. Beautiful. So obsessed. Plus I love like this part. Like I love how it has like this part in the top. I don't know if that makes sense, but such a cool bag, beautiful, gorgeous, and this bag was $30. It's a little expensive, but I mean, it's an amazing briefcase, even if it is damaged. So I have two more items. Now, these two items are from Buffalo Exchange, and I'm so excited to show you guys what I got. They're both on sale. Um, this one was originally $58, so it's about $60. This is a quilted Kate Spade. Now, this is, um... This is the one that like the quilting looks like the like her like the bows. So it's really fun. I love this color. It's like a bright cobalt. So pretty. Um there is a little bit of like I don't know what this is. I'm gonna try and get it out. I'm hoping that it'll just come out. I think um it's a little little the, 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 the leather conditioner, it'll come right out. And the corners are like a little dry looking, so I think just leather conditioner is gonna fix up this bag and make it look perfect. Uh, so I'm hoping, I'm probably gonna do a handbag rehab on this if anyone is interested in seeing that. I know I haven't been doing a lot of handbag rehabs recently and I want to get back into doing them. I've just been fixing my bags and not recording them and I know a lot of you guys have been asking about it. So don't worry, I have a lot more coming. I know I keep saying that but I've just been so busy but I promise I've already filmed a couple so I can say at least that I have a couple filmed already for you guys coming up, if not already. Um, so I'll have those linked as well if you guys want to see more of my handbag rehabs. But this is such a great tote. This is, um, I believe this is the largest that this size comes in. And it's beautiful. The handles are in great condition. I love that um, Kate Spade kind of uses like this light, light, light gold, almost silver hardware. So you can use it with gold or silver jewelry, whatever you're wearing, and it'll match. And it'll just reflect beautifully. And the interior is in such great condition. It has a middle compartment, and then it says, like, it has, like, the Kate Spade lining, and it's really pretty in gold. And then pockets in the front, and then a pocket in the back. So this bag is just amazing. Such a great tote. And, I don't know, I feel like it's, it's like akin to like um, the quilted um, Chanel totes and this one is like a good alternative and it's very affordable and I'm going to have this up for sale. So really excited for you guys. I know you guys are going to like this bag a lot because I do. So beautiful. Now this one, this next bag, okay. <sighs> the story of this bag. I was so excited to find it. Um, and it was literally, I wish I filmed it because it was like so serendipitous. It was in, it was behind the register and it was where they keep like items on hold. And it was like kind of like on the, it was on the floor and it was like kind of covered by some stuff. And then I like noticed like the side of the bag and then I was like, oh, what's that? <coughs> Excuse me. So I was already talking to the gal that was working behind the register. I was asking to see some bags that are behind. And then I noticed that bag, and I was like, oh, what's that? I was like, oh, are those bags on hold? And she's like, oh, no, they're not. Um, we just set them down here because someone was looking at them before. And then I was like, oh, can I see them? And then this bag is what she pulled out. So it's, it looks very much like a Birkin. Um, but this is a Teddy Blake um, handbag. These bags, I believe they retail in this size for over $700. And this one was on sale, oh my gosh. So it was $200, but it was on sale for 100 So it was 50% off. Oh, well, that other bag, the Kate Spade, was also on sale for, so it was about $60, that was 30 and this one was 100 And what's really cool about the Teddy Blake bags is that they actually have a long strap which I'm dying over. I found um, a vintage uh, Birkin-like bag before too. I believe it was a Rene. It was also made in Italy. And this one is actually also made in Italy. I believe that they're also handmade. The leather is like to die for. It just like, ugh. It's so soft and beautiful. And the like the long strap is 
awesome. It's what I've been dreaming about. I don't know if I'm gonna sell it. I might. I'm still like really considering. Like, I'm thinking. I'm thinking about it. Like I don't know. The bag is in such great condition. All the hardware is there. It is missing the lock, but it has the keys. Um, but I mean the the key and the lock is really easy to change out as long as you just go buy one that's silver. Um, but it's in such great condition. The hardware is really great. The leather is perfection and it, mm, it smells beautiful and the interior is suede uh so 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 nice i'm so excited so this rounds out my haul thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch my video hang out with me check out what i found um like i said never did like never like think that like thrift stores are just like weird and these just have junk because you never know what you can find. I've it's weird because um, I've gotten like numerous comments before and still now on like videos where people say like, oh, why are you like at the store? It's like all junk and it's gross. But literally, it's not. You can find the most amazing things, and I mean like, it's fine if you don't want to go to the store. It just means more deals for when I go. So I'm fine. <laughs> but I mean, I, Goodwills are so awesome. Don't count them out. Definitely check it out. And you'll never know what you can find. So thank you guys again so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check back again tomorrow for a new one at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And don't forget to like and subscribe. I love you guys. I'm see you all tomorrow. Bye. So they brought out this fossil bag on a cart. It's kind of a little worse for wear. Um, the exterior isn't so horrible, but the inside is pretty dirty. Um, only $4.99. So I think a good cleaning. We'll do it well. It still has tape on it. What's that about? Um, I don't know. I'll investigate this bag further. But I'm going to look at the cookware and like houseware stuff now. Which I'm excited to look at. <laughs>